Esther is a comadre or family to so many of us here in the Central Valley. I knew her and Gil, who were advocates in the farm worker movement, who were standing strong and making sure that our Latino communities had a voice and a seat at the table. Esther had a tough decision when she was on the city council. She made and was the deciding vote on a highway, 168 and 180, which was built here in Fresno. And by making that tough decision, she invested in infrastructure and jobs and moved our city forward. And really believe that naming a part of the highway after her shows that her vision, her plan for Fresno has now come to fruition and it seems fitting for us to now name the highway after her. I'm honored to have an opportunity to share uh, this wonderful event acknowledging Esther Padilla, who was also a friend of mine. She came from a large family, farm working family, worked with the UFW. So she saw firsthand many of the uh, challenges that families did have. She was tenacious, she was ethical, and she just did not let go when things were not right. That's part of what made her the estropedia that she was. And when she served on the council, it's important that young people coming up recognize that there are members in our community that are acknowledged for their contributions. They're going to be seeing her name on the road, which is wonderful. Esther Padilla was a very, a very giving individual. She served as city councilwoman. Then she went on to finish her career with Donor Network West, advocating on behalf of those who don't have a voice. So I think you can see a parallel in her life that she always put other people ahead of herself. And the legacy that she also left behind and that you too can leave is by registering to be an organ and tissue donor because I know that she's probably looking down on all of us now and saying, good job, I'm glad you're still carrying on my work. When you work for elected officials for 32 years, um, she was a real standout, again, because of, she was there for the right reason and she was collaborative and she was always, always, you know, well prepared um, and a good person, a, you know, a good, decent person. And, and I mentioned earlier, I had a chance to know her in other venues, in other ways in the community. As a facilitator, I facilitated organizations that she worked with, Central La Familia, way, 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 way back. So. I, 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 as, as far as a particular story, man, I'd have to really think about that because there were so many, but I will say this, they were all positive, they were all good, and, and I will add that I, she was a friend as well as a great community contributor. She was very proud to be the first Latina elected to the Fresno City Council. And while on the council, she did a number of things. One, advocating for diversity and management and leadership. She was instrumental in pushing forward for the baseball stadium, as well as 168, for which she's being honored, and the completion both of 168 and 180 in Southeast Fresno. She represented a primarily Latino organization in Southeast Fresno, um, and she did a lot of good work while she was there. You don't do this kind of work to seek recognition. You do it because it's in your heart, and you do it because you care and you do it because you're a giving person, and that was Esther. Uh, she would probably uh, give credit to others, uh, to her family, to her colleagues, to the community in general that was always there to support her as well. Uh, you have no choice. If you knew Esther, you had no choice. You were jumping in whatever it was that she was jumping into. So she would be humble in, in accepting this kind of a recognition. Um, and then we'd go out and party. <laughs> When I first learned that she was the first Latina council member for the city of Fresno, I was inspired because I knew that there were women that had come before me that had broken the ceiling and paved the way so that young women like myself could also see ourselves in sitting at the chair making the same decisions. It was extremely important that we recognize and name the highway after the late Esther Padilla because we wanted to make sure that people in the community recognized the historic moment that she had in our community by being the first Latina. I personally wanted to make sure that the little girls that um, get to drive through the freeway with their parents ask about 
who is Esther Padilla, and that they learn that she was the first Latina council member, and hopefully one day they can aspire to also serve in our city of Fresno and fight for what they believe in. Well, I was proud to work with local assembly member, Dr. Juan Quina Arambula, to make this a reality. I believe that, again, it was critical that we do it now and ensure that we made this a historic moment. In the city of Fresno, there's no other highway named after a Latino, and I believe that Latinos have made significant contributions in our community and that it was adequate to ensure that the history isn't lost and that Esther Padilla's legacy was memorialized by naming of the highway after her.